What's going on guys, Sunny aka The Random Recorder here. So today, I want to tell you guys about my personal thoughts and impressions on Xbox's new Project Scarlet console. And I gotta say, this thing is actually pretty impressive. So, they talked about in the little trailer, they, they don't give out much information, but they talked about how it's gonna have, number one, an SSD. That to me was, that that was very important, especially for gaming, it's important you have an SSD. I mean, generally, it's, it's good to have an SSD in anything that's, you know, computer. Uh, console whatever um, but for games it's especially important especially now that we're getting into bigger games games like cyberpunk or Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild Witcher 3 you know they have these big expansive maps and it's important to have something like an SSD so that way you'll be able to um, you know loading times get reduced because loading times can be very frustrating for a lot of games and that doesn't even just apply to RPGs that can apply to pretty much everything and again, I think you know games are getting more and more graphically detailed, so loading times are only going to increase. So it's great they have an SSD to go ahead and try to cut down uh, while still maintaining that high performance for uh, most games. But they also said in the trailer it's going to support, um, I believe, 4K at 120fps with HDR. It's going to have ray tracing capabilities, and it's even going to be able to support 8K. They haven't talked about frame rates for that. I'm expecting at least 8K at 30 FPS, but I'm not 100% sure yet. But, you know, the initial reaction to 4K 120 HDR was, okay, but my gaming PC can do that. And the thing is, when you're trying to get 4K at 120, your gaming PC probably couldn't do that at the cost of an Xbox console, if that makes any sense. Like, you could build a gaming PC, and yeah, it could hit you know, 4K, 120, but I don't think it would be any cheaper than actually just buying the new Xbox. And they haven't revealed the price. They haven't. Um, the Xbox, the Xbox One X, I believe is $500, right? And this, I would think they said is four times more powerful. Uh, I don't think they're going to go four times the price. It's going to be $2,000. No way they're going to do that. I think they're going to try to do, they're trying to, I think, because Sony hasn't revealed the price for their console right uh, yet, the PS5. They said it's going to have an SSD, it's going to be backwards compatible, and I believe they said um, it'll have um, the similar processing stuff. They're both custom GPUs, but they're both working with AMD using the Radeon Navi, and their CPUs, I believe, are both also using um, the Zen 2. So I think that, uh, performance-wise, they're going to be pretty simu similar. But I think Xbox is going to go ahead and try to price theirs lower to, they're going to like, uh, com more competitive pricing is what I'm trying to say. They're going to try to take the cut to, uh, take the cut in profit to go ahead and make sure they sell more, which means overall they'd still make more profit because their console would sell better. But yeah, no, I think if they go for 500 to 600, you're not going to be able to f build a gaming PC for better than that. Um, that matches the performance of the Xbox. So that it was a pretty big deal. And I will say, you know, overall, I don't know that many people with, like, 8K monitors or screens. So if they do use 8K um, capabilities, I think it's going to be great, you know, because 8K is, it looks beautiful and all. Obviously, it's very high resolution. But the thing is, I think we've finally reached a point where everyone has 4K, and I don't think people are ready to move on to 8K yet. Um, because it's, it's obviously going to be really expensive, so over time... I think people are going to move to 8K, but we haven't all hit 8K yet, so I think it's just, um, I think it's it's great, obviously they're going for 8K, but I don't think it's going to be very useful or a big selling point at the moment. But yeah, no, the 4K 20 HDR for, you know, what I'm assuming is going to be way less than what you're going to get for other consoles with ray tracing, I think is going to be an absolute game changer for consoles. I don't know how well Sony's is going to match that. They haven't talked about any specific capabilities. It feels like the Scarlet is definitely much further in development here. And um, obviously, because they've announced the release date and everything, the, the PS5 hasn't gotten you know anything like that revealed. So I do think they're definitely trying to release it before, go for a lower price, and so they'll have it already in the game. You know what I'm saying? They'll, they'll basically have the head start on Sony, which is really smart of them, i got to say. So those are my thoughts for the new Xbox console, Project Scarlet. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe today to join the TR Army, and we're going to be uploading a lot in the future, so make sure to hit the notification bell. That's all for today. Random Recorders, peace out.